In this video, I'm going to show you how to propagate euphorbia, more commonly known as honey spurge. This particular euphorbia is a favourite of mine. It's Euphorbia cross pasteurii, John Phillips, and it's a great large leaf plant that produces enormous flowers. However, this euphorbia has got too big for its space in my garden, so I've cut it back hard and it's starting to recover, and I'll use this as an opportunity to take some tip cuttings. The first stage is to find some healthy non-flowering shoots, and ideally it will be this season's growth. To help keep your parent plant tidy, cut this shoot back to a junction, and you will further prepare the propagation material before you pot it on. A word of warning when cutting euphorbias, they will produce this milky sap. This sap is an irritant and it can make your skin photosensitive. So be very careful when you're working with euphorbias and be sure to wash your hands if you get any of it on your skin. Carry on collecting a few more shoots. The more you get, the more chance there's going to be of one of your shoots rooting. I'm just going to use regular multi-purpose compost to root my cutting material. This has worked for me fine in the past and so long as the pot and compost are sterilised, you should be absolutely fine. Reused plastic pots are great for starting cutting because the plastic helps keep the moisture in the soil. And most of us have plenty of plastic pots that need to be put to use, not sent to landfill. The next stage of taking euphorbia cuttings is to prepare your cutting material. We'll start by cutting our euphorbia stem to a more manageable length. Aim for between 3 and 4 inches, that's around 10 centimetres. With the euphorbia stem now cut to length, we need to start stripping the lower leaves. We do this for two reasons. The first being that the section where the lower leaves are will be inserted below the soil and we don't want them rotting away. The second reason we remove the lower leaves is because this will reduce the amount of water that is lost from our cutting material. And that factor is most important when taking any cuttings, as the new material hasn't yet formed any roots to uptake new water. The leaves on euphorbias should come off pretty easily if you just pull them gently downwards. Now prepare a hole in the compost using either your finger or a stick and then firm the soil around your cutting well and this ensures that the material has good contact with the soil. Here's a tip, I always place my cuttings around the edge of the pot as this is the area of the pot that will have the most moisture and it also helps me to insert a good amount of cuttings into just one pot. To reduce the amount of sap lost from freshly cut euphorbia, you can dip it into a powdered charcoal, but this isn't essential. Keep your cuttings well watered and out of direct sun, and over a 6-10 to 10 week period you should see roots appearing out of the bottom of the pot as well as fresh new growth from the top. Be sure to remove any dead plant material, as you don't want it to rot and spread to your other cuttings. Now it's time to gently knock out your euphorbia cuttings and see how good a root system they've developed. And if they've rooted, it's time to pot them on into individual pots. And again, I just use multi-purpose compost for this. I always start by half filling each of the pots, so there's soil in the base of the pot for the cutting material to sit on top of. Now, gently tease apart the euphorbia cuttings as you don't want to damage the newly formed roots. Hopefully you'll achieve something like this, a nice healthy cutting that's starting to develop a strong root network. Be very careful when handling your new cutting as you don't want to bruise the stem or damage the roots. Place it into the center of its new pot, firming the roots down into the soil. And then using compost, fill the rest of your pot to just below the top edge, firming it down as you go. You don't need to compact the soil, but just have it firm enough that it will hold the cutting upright. This also just helps ensure that those new roots have good contact with the soil. And with this propagation done, 
you'll have loads of new euphorbia plants ready for growing on and eventually planting out. Be sure to keep them well watered, especially straight after potting them up, as it just helps reduce the air pockets in the soil and it'll encourage those new roots to uptake lots of water to encourage new growth. Propagating plants is really satisfying. So if you want more videos like this, hit subscribe. And if you've got any tips or questions, comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.